I feel like the news has hit a new level of lying. Mm -hmm. The story I'd like to showcase for you is, I don't know if you remember when this guy got coronavirus. He gets the coronavirus, and at one point, he decides he's, he quarantines in his basement, he comes out of his basement, and he tapes this thing like it's the fucking moon landing. Like... <laughs> He tapes himself coming out of the basement like people are waiting for Jesus to come up again, right? Like, it's the most epic thing that ever happened. And here's the thing. I don't think he ever even had the coronavirus. That's my take. I've got the evidence. Firstly, let's look at the way his family reacted. His wife looks like the chick from The Ring, you know? Like, what the fuck do I have to do with this? And then the kids are like, are you kidding me? I gotta be a part of this bullshit? Then, it turns out, while he was pretending that he had the coronavirus, there was an incident where he was out on Long Island. There's even a police report about it. He even talked about the incident on his own radio show. He addressed the guy who said, hey, how come you're not in quarantine? He called him a biker punk, right? There's your biker punk. That's what we all think of. <laughs> Just a fucking old guy from Long Island. Then he was on the news every single day. I've never looked that good in my entire life. That's him with the coronavirus. And every single day he's on the news and he's like, well, you should have seen me last night. I was, I was so sick. Like, it's like that, that old guy at the bar with one eyeball who's like, when I was 20 years old, I fucked everybody. Like, <laughs> you should have seen how good looking I was. Like, and here's the thing. This guy's job is supposed to be reporting true events. Now, not only is he not reporting true events, he's actually fabricating fake events. How do you keep your job as a news anchor? How do you do that? That's, at this point, that's like if you had Bill Cosby teaching sexual education. <laughs> You're not qualified. Here, actually, I got the video of Bill Cosby teaching sexual education. Here we go. <laughs> No doesn't actually mean no. If I give her a refreshing drink and she just so happens to fall asleep, then guess who's waking up sore in the morning? That's the field research. Now don't be alarmed. She's not dead. She's sleeping. But women have rights. And who am I to deny her the right to give this pleasure? Whether awake or sleeping. <laughs> there you go, Bill Cosby, sexual education. <laughs>